Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new FIFA 13 video. Today I've got a Manchester United versus Atletico Madrid and you guys chose this game actually. I put it up on Facebook earlier. I put up a poll asking would you like to see Manchester United versus Atletico which obviously won. Also, the other teams were Brazil versus France and Italy versus Spain. So, you know, if you guys want to vote on what you guys would like to see tomorrow, I'll put up a poll tomorrow morning and you guys can leave your vote, I suppose, more than anything. And just let it kind of it kind of creates more viewer interaction. And I like doing that, getting you guys to choose what you'd like to see, because at the end of the day, these videos are for you guys. You know, I played the game, but I really want to show you guys what FIFA 13 is all about and what I think to the game and today I've got Manchester United versus Atletico Madrid it sweet the floor as far as uh, on the poll goes you know there were so many more votes for Manchester United but here I've shown you guys the team management I always like to show you guys the team management I know the player ratings aren't final although it is important to let you guys know you know some of the ratings even though like I said they aren't final they will be close enough a few stats might be changed but they are close enough so here we have 89 rate rated Wayne Rooney obviously you have RVP in the team as well so those are two very powerhouse like players you know really good shot really good finishing those sort of players and uh, that was uh, that came actually more than an issue more than anything how was I gonna get 89 rated Wayne Rooney and 88 rated RVP into the team and still have the ability to you know have that little bit more pace in the team um, as well as being able to put goals in the back of the net because at the end of the day that's how you win these games so I ended up going with an RVP and Hernandez or RVP and well bet combination I found those those players much much better than having both RVP and Rooney on at the same time now don't get me wrong guys if I could get both of those players on and play really well I absolutely would but I just struggled to find the right formation and right players to go around them that would feed both those two players who have a very similar play style on FIFA to in order to really just maximize the potential that both of them have because don't get me wrong they're both great players on this game for me though RVP is just a little bit better than Rooney but again that's all down to personal preference when it comes to this game so you guys are gonna have to make those sort of decisions for yourself which ones you guys prefer but for me it was RVP over Rooney and that's why I decided to go with the likes of RVP and Welbeck or something but would you like some salt with those chips Van Persie um, putting that away like I said his finishing is outstanding uh, and him and Falcao, who happens to be on the other team, actually, are two of the best finishers that I played with on FIFA 13. You guys obviously have to make all your own decisions when you guys get your hands on the game, which you can actually get them on with the early release. The demo comes out on the 11th, which is really cool. So you guys will be able to play with a few of the teams. I don't think you get access to uh, you get access to Manchester United, I think, but I don't think you have access to Atletico Madrid. So you'll be able to make up your mind what you think to RVP and Rooney, but uh, Falcao, you're going to have to try out for yourself when you get the early release if you decide to um, there's some info on that actually if you go to the EA Sports Twitter you can learn a little bit more about what the whole season pass shenanigans which gets it which you get three days early I believe full access to the game including ultimate team at last and you know last time they didn't have it where well they had it where you couldn't access ultimate team now you can so that's all uh, that's all really fine Randy and dandy and another big player on the Manchester United squad that actually kind of went unnoticed a little bit but not for the wrong reasons but for the right reasons was uh, Shin Chicagawa who's actually on the ball as we speak and he is awesome in this game I really enjoy using him he's a really nifty kind of reminds me a lot of a David Silva in this game uh, which kind of leads me on to my next topic or not topic but next uh, statement is that I find Man Manchester City a better team on this game uh, don't don't go crazy Manchester United fans but for some reason Manchester United just have incredibly high rated players you know got likes of company Yaya Toure David Silva Tevez Aguero Balotelli all those players attacking wise are just incredible you guys will love to use them they're a very powerful side I suppose is the word um, I actually prefer using I, I prefer the combo between Aguero and Balotelli those are my two strikers I don't really enjoy using Tevez too much um, but yeah definitely uh, Manchester City are a better team than Manchester United in this game but again it's all down to your personal play style and how you guys like to play the game but for me it just had to be Man City over them they're such a powerful side in this and actually you guys will get to use them in the demo I believe they're one of the demo teams so um, have fun with all that 
Um, Atletico Madrid, very, very solid team. Again, they kind of remind me of Porto. They're a fun team to use. They're a good team to use, but they're not a team that I'd go to if I want to win games. Uh, you obviously, I said you had Falcao in there, who's their best player by by quite a bit. Um, a very good player, and uh, that goal there was just... My keeper did such a great job to save it, but um, the rebound, he managed to put it in the back of the net, which kind of brings me on to another point, which is in FIFA 13, I think we're going to see a lot low scoring games you know if you lose by six seven goals this time you know that is an absolute hammering that equivalent uh, that equates to around 11 or 12 goals in FIFA 12 you know that's a pretty hefty battering because in this game um, it, it, it is a lot harder to score goals I find you know the finishing is a bit harder one of the big things I get asked all the time is is finesse overpowered and I can tell you this right now not at all. It is so hard to score finesse goals in this game. For whatever reason they made it, it is just so tricky to score finesse goals. There's no way, even inside the box, the players will put it wide. You know, in FIFA 12, where you're like, this is a given. You literally cannot miss this in FIFA 12. In FIFA 13, it can easily just go all hairwire, all tits up, and uh, just really not not do well and it, it was really strange to get used to because I'm so used to being able to put in those sweaty little finesse goals but now I've had to change it up and a lot more power shots are coming for me but click on the screen for more FIFA 13 gameplay and subscribe and you know if you guys could leave a like that would be immense obviously my Twitter and Facebook are down in the description and I'll catch you guys all later bye bye